Hello. So today we're going to do a body scan. And this is a way for us to get in touch with how our body physically feels. You can do this anytime. And it's especially important, you know, when you're feeling a strong emotion and you want to get in touch with where that feeling is in your body. Is it in your heart? Is it in your belly? Are you clenching your jaw? Are you clenching your fists? How does your body feel? So this body scan can be something that you do on a daily basis. Sometimes I'll do it at night when I can't sleep. I've done these for any length of time from three minutes to an hour for a MBSR scan at a retreat. Uh, I also do it to get to sleep at night because it's really helpful to just kind of gently relax. So you can do this standing, sitting, lying down, eyes open, eyes closed, whatever you want. It all depends on the situation. Sometimes you can do it in a meeting. Uh, just quick, quickly check in with your body and, and find out because you may discover that there's tension somewhere that you didn't really realize. And that is telegraphing through your emotions and people that are looking at you and, and seeing you in the meeting. So we're going to do this one really quick. It's not going to be long. Let's just start with getting settled. Take a breath. Feel that column of air rising and falling so that you get settled. Now let's start at the top of our head. Do you feel any tension there? How does your scalp feel? Moving down your head, down to your ears. Are your ears tense? Your cheekbones? Feeling in your jaw. Do you feel any tension in your jaw? You can relax a little, but this isn't a time to correct anything. It's just a time to check in. Now moving into your neck. Feel the muscles along the back of your neck. Can you feel the vertebra in your neck? Moving down into your shoulders, the back of your shoulders, the tops of your shoulders. Let's move down your left arm, feeling the shoulder joint, your upper arm, your elbow, your forearm, the little bones in your wrist, your thumb, forefinger, third finger, ring finger, your little finger. Do you feel any sense of tension, maybe a little tingling? What kind of feelings do you have right now in your left hand? Now move up to your right shoulder. How does it feel? Your upper arm, your elbow, your forearm, your thumb, index finger, middle finger, ring finger, little finger. Is this hand have any sensations, any feelings, any tingling or pulsing? Now let's move up to our chest. Take a breath. Can you feel your chest? Can you feel your belly? Moving back to your upper back. Can you feel it supporting you? Can you feel your spine, your ribs? Moving down into your hips. How do your hips feel? Moving into your groin area. How does that feel? See if you can find sensations within your body. This can take time. Now let's move into our left leg, the upper front part of your thigh. See if you can feel the bones in your left leg. Moving into your knee, your lower leg, the bones of your ankle, 
top of your foot, the bottom of your foot, your big toe. See if you can feel each of the toes in your foot, your left foot. And now we'll move back to the right side, starting at your right hip, moving down into your upper leg. Feel the top, the bone, the bottom of your thigh. Move into your knee. Do you feel any tension there? Move into your lower leg, your shin bone, your calf, your ankles. Can you feel the heel of your right foot? The sole of your right foot? The top of your foot? Can you feel the toes? Now just take another deep breath. And just quickly scan through your whole body, kind of like a really fast MRI. Just scan down from the top of your head to your toes. Do you feel any difference? Now this is a really fast body scan, but it covers the basics and it allows you to know exactly what it is that a body scan is. You can do this as long as you like. And as I said, it's wonderful to help put you to sleep, but it's also a way to get in touch with your body. You can do this in seconds. Once you get a little practice, it can be very easy to go through and pinpoint those areas of tension. And then you can ask yourself, why am I tense here? What emotion is connected to that feeling? Do I need to do anything about it at all? Maybe I need to go to the chiropractor. <laughs> Could be anything. But just to get more in touch with our bodies. I hope you enjoy this practice, and I'd love to hear from you whether it works for you. And if you have any questions, just let me know. That's what I'm here for. Thank you.